House. You're listening to the Hut House Podcast oh, with yeah, E-Hut yeah. on the Thinking Out Loud Network. Yo, 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 yo. What up, y'all? You are in the house. This is your boy, e Hud. Welcome to the Hut's House Podcast. I got some people in the building today. Uh, my peoples are in the building today. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe new to y'all, but I've been having a great time getting to know who these people are. You know, dope MCs, dope people of God. Servants of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? I got my boy um, all the way from Albany, New York. Yeah. Repping that A-L. B-A-N-Y. You know what I'm saying? To the uh, fullest. Message. You did. And I want to, you know, uh, introduce to y'all uh, the homie all the way from Queens, New York. Promise. <laughs> I love it. No? She's not from Queens? No. If you hear her rap, you think she's from Queens, New York. Yo. You know, back in the days, I was rocking with Biggie, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, yo, <laughs> for real. Because, yo, female rappers from Atlanta, can they rap? I'm, I'm talking about, like, mainstream, whatever. Like, um, what female rapper from New York, from Atlanta, kind of like, is like, yo, she dope. Don't say the brat. From you mean from from she, Chicago. From Atlanta. Yeah, from Atlanta. Atlanta. From she from Chicago. Nah. I, um, I don't think I can't recall. I'll have to get some some bios or something. To I don't hear. I don't remember one female rapper from that's from from Atlanta that was like spitting that piff. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. I don't have to get some research going. Yeah. What's that girl named Diamond from Crime Mob? Yeah, she I was know, all right. She was. She was. You know her? Yeah, I used to background name for her as well. Yeah, she was. She was nice. Um. Outside of that, the best female rapper out of Georgia right now is Young Thug. I'm done. Young Thug. I'm gonna do that back. Who's Young Thug? I feel all some kinds of ways. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I was gonna say the best, you know. But anyway, yo, they in the building. Oh no, he's not popping. He's not female. Not, not, yeah. I'm talking about female rapper. Oh, I get it, joke. I love rapper. it. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Y'all know it takes me a minute in the process. You know what I'm saying? Wake up. Wait, wait, caught that from the gate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got I got my peoples in the building, man. Just you know, a little jokey joke, joke. Yo, introduce yourselves, man. Tell them a little about yourself, bro. Hey, um, man, I go by a message. Uh, M E H S I J message. M E H S I J, man. Like he said. From Albany, New York. I've been here in Atlanta now for two years. Wow, uh, I know two what, years. What's wrong with that? Nah, man. Oh, two so? years. Um, in in June it was two years. Wow. And um, I love it, man. I love it here. Mm. Yeah. What brought you down here? Music. Where? Yeah, God in the music. Really? Yeah. How that happen? Uh, well, the opportunity behind me chasing, uh, Lecrae. Mm. I was chasing Lecrae at the moment. Wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know his church ain't too far from here. Yeah. Um, and and that ultimately put me with the push. You know what I'm saying? So with you respect like respect to the market, understanding um, the acceptance of gospel rap, and you know, in the south versus the north, it definitely played a big role. Wow. So you like packed up and said, "Yo, I'm gonna come down here to meet Lecrae." Yeah, that was definitely part really? of the plan. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. I looked up his church and everything. Wow, wow, bro. So he made that much of an impact. He made that much of an impact. That's he, crazy. He was the first gospel rapper I knew. What? Yeah. Like, like wow. when I, I was introduced to gospel rap in 2011. Oh, I know. So you never heard of Corey Red and Precise? Mm-mm. They were killing it in New York. Never heard of them. Now, I know some cats. Richie Righteous. Richie Righteous. I opened up for Richie Righteous when yeah. I was in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a couple times, actually. Um, and Because he came to all of me. He has a, a real good relationship with... Um, family uh, life reign in church, which is in Albany, New York, downtown. Gotcha. That's the that's the people we uh, did the block party for when we went back in September. Okay. Um, Richie, okay. right? Richie, right? You look him up later. You're, you're wow, yeah, I know he's, he's, pastoring yeah he he's pastoring too. Yeah, he is. He's pastoring too. Wow. It, you know the funny thing about it is, and it's no shade. I can tell you a Lecrae song. No. No, sir. Yeah. I couldn't tell you once. I had his first like four albums. All I need is you is the only song I know because it was on the radio. That, that's the only song I know. That's crazy. But shouts out to shouts out to him and what he's done and you know uh, uh, everything God has had him to do paved the way for a lot of yeah, stuff. That was good too. But um, that that quickly faded. That celebrity um, and my I was chasing not just the music and you know what I felt was my purpose to get my voice out there, do the gospel because I had a fire in me. But I realized 
that what's for me is for me. Mm -hmm. So, I, so I let that man. I gotta get a touch on him go. Mm -hmm. So I never end up going to the church. You know what I'm saying? I, I had plans on like joining the youth ministry there, mm -hmm. and then them putting me on the stage to do one of my songs and Lecrae being in the crowd, <laughs> like yo, oh wow, reach like my vision was. But um, that faded. That faded fast with respect to the reality of life. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I didn't. That's an interesting uh, story. You know, I would have never. I would have never thought. First of all, I thought you was down here longer than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but one one thing um, that I saw the first time I heard you spit um, was um, the passion in your delivery. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, this dude, man, it's just something about this dude right here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? His flow and. His passion and how he rocking and everything like that. I was like, yo, this, I think we we shook hands that first time I saw you. At the 47 spot, I think. 47 spot, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And I, um, but you know, never followed through and you know, life happens and so on and so forth, but it came full circle that we came back around again. Yeah. We met up again and we, we made it happen, you know, for uh -huh. real, for real this time, man. It's not been nothing but a, nothing but a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what do you think influence you and you know your style and your your moves and everything what motivates and pushes and influences you yeah um outside of obvious god and yeah. your passion for that and all that yeah um the the culture the kids and the culture that's mm -hmm. coming up oh, wow. mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. um i understand that i love hip-hop period mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um i'm a hip-hop dude but i understand that the culture, the hood, in my opinion, and my strongest opinion, mm. is what it is mm. because of the music mm. that the the brain of those who incite the nonsense mm -hmm. does not know how to separate the reality from entertainment. Exactly. You know what I'm totally saying? So a lot of people deny the power of the words and the music mm. and the influence that it has over our actions. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The manifestation in the music, um, so you know, from the killings to the to the disrespecting women mm. to popping pills, doing drugs, mm -hmm. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The culture we look at these rappers on TV and these videos, and and the culture doesn't know how to separate the reality from entertainment. In turn, not understanding that this rapper is making money off publishing, this rapper is making money off copyright, this rapper mm -hmm. is making money off royalties, this rapper is making money off performance rights. Um, touring, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're not making money off because they because mm -hmm. they flipping kilos, right? Yeah. Right. They're not making money right. because they because they popping Molly. They're not making money off of the stuff that they rapping about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they're not rapping about yeah. So I went to the Library of Congress, right? And uh, uh, fifty five dollars get you a song, and mm -hmm. you know you want to do a twelve at one or whatever. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Not going into that. Be in my ass cap and get you this, that, and the third. They're not rapping. Right. They're rapping. Yeah, pop Molly and right, and right. store cocaine and, right. and grab a blick. And, and leave somebody wet, you know what I'm saying? So then in turn, we're taking the lyrics and we're eternalizing it and we're trying to we, we distribute it. Mm -hmm. And out of hood is what it is. Why is it so, why is it so uh, acceptable to speak? Because, you know, a lot of pushback is, well, they do the same thing in Hollywood. Tom Cruise ain't real. really killing those people. That's real. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Right. That's Even the truth. what we see as far as a visual, not just what we see. I mean, what we hear, but also what we see plays a part as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does. I mean, because you do got those the wannabe Scarfaces too. Facts. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're the wannabe Facts. Mitch. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You got Facts. the wannabe you know, Rico Alpos. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got, yeah, you got yeah. those cats too. For whatever, whatever reason, it's glorified. It's glorified. And for whatever, whatever reason, it's, 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 uh, it's something... Where people aspire to be, man, you don't got two nickels yeah. to rub mm -hmm. together, but you walking around with your pants hanging down, yeah. exactly. acting as if you like, you know, you know, Pablo Escobar mm -hmm. or whatever. Cause yeah. you got, <laughs> you got two nickel bags. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's real. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You said you said you made a hundred dollars a day off of some nickel bags, mm -hmm. and you feel like yo. Yeah. You the man yeah. or whatever the case may be, like that's that's a negative, man. Exactly. That's a negative. Yeah. We also got um, promise. Yes. In the building, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. For real. She for said real, she's a real. queen for real. <laughs> <laughs> she's from what part of Atlanta are you from? Uh, the West Side. The West Side. Yes. Mechanicsville. Yeah. I got lost in Mechanicsville one night. Boy. Don't get lost again. Boy. <laughs> God Boy. was with you. God was with you. I was going. I was. I was actually going to work, dog. I was doing construction okay. on 85, and yeah. I took a wrong turn. It was a wrap. Boy, I was like, yo. 
Yeah. 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 It was no Waze and Google Maps back yeah. in the day, bro. It was like, no. Nah, fam. <laughs> it was God and instincts, yo. Make start. this left turn. Yeah, Make right. this right turn, yo. Uh, Get up out of here. Get up out of here. Yeah. Well, darker but, that way. But I think it was on the, the cusp of them trying to regentrify that area anyway. Mm. Mm-hmm. So it, it wasn't like that back no, back in the day. Like okay. When I was living there. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But I uh, made it out of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tell everybody about yourself. Promise. Well, like you said, I am a queen. Mm-hmm. And I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia hey. Peach. Mm-hmm. And I'm just using my voice, my testimony, to reach those that need it. Um, you know, just do it for the Lord. Facts. What is your testimony? Um, How God has tucked someone who is broken, mm. who was wilding, mm. who was a... Like a jazzy bear, <laughs> I'll be honest, mm-hmm. and um, just turn me into a Deborah. What made what made what happened? What do you mean? What happened? Something always happens something to make a person. Always happens. Yeah, what you happened? Know, right. Um, but it wasn't just a something in particular. It was a, a series of things. things. It was a lot, mm-hmm. lot of things. Um, um, but I could start with um. Oh my God. Um. My going through domestic violence was was one of them, mm-hmm. um, and then um, the lust of money was another. Um, but yes, when I had my daughter, was like the that that top thing where I knew that she was looking up to me mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and wanted me to do better and do more. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I knew I needed to do it for her. So, yeah. so is that that's when you pivoted from the lifestyle, mm-hmm. um, or is that when you pivoted to God? Did everything happen at once? No, I first turned from the lifestyle mm-hmm. uh, first, um, and then I slowly turned. You was like, yo, you know what, man? I'm good. I'm yeah, done. I'm good. I'm done. You it know, was just too much that was going on. I, my spirit, my soul was mm-hmm. definitely, like, not feeling it. Um, I grew up in the church, so I knew it was, you mm-hmm. know, wasn't right. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. It, it was time. It was yeah. It was done, but of course I went back to what I know because even though I I left it, I still had some broken pieces, mm-hmm. and so I needed God to definitely fix me. So, so stuff. how from from you pivoting, and then you know, uh, you know, accepting God or Jesus Christ or whatever, how long was that time frame? Oh, I want to say a couple of years. Couple so of you years. left the you left how you was living and mm-hmm. you know flowing cold turkey and then was just just well, chilling i met somebody um, uh-huh. <laughs> who didn't really agree with uh-huh. you know my, my I, lifestyle. Feel you, I feel you i feel you and so but it was crazy because i left one lifestyle mm-hmm. and went into another direction mm-hmm. um i probably wasn't well i was no longer doing the things that i was doing mm-hmm. but i went and and clinging to what he was doing right right so, right yeah so a couple of years after that i was just like you know god i'm just done so um yeah what would have happened what would have happened? You can chime in too, bro. What would have happened, you know, if that didn't happen? What would, where would you be right now if that didn't happen? I probably wouldn't be sitting here. Uh, period. My mm-hmm. whole existence, I probably wouldn't be here. Wow. I would have wow. been in jail, you know. Wow. <laughs> but I wouldn't be here. She was living a life, y'all. She had a razor blade in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? She's doing the buck fifties. Like, <laughs> She's doing buck fifties, yo. Wow. I'm done with y'all. Yo, yo, you know, back in, yo, a few, when I moved down here, I used to go to the clubs a lot because I didn't. I didn't club. How old are you? How old are you? I, I, I'm <laughs> grown out here. <laughs> I'm grown out here. I'm from the stage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, no, for real though. When I moved out, I've I've been out here since. I'm literally from Atlanta now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Brooklyn all day, though. That's what's up. No, don't don't do that. What? You want to us now? No, Just no. It, only know? because my <laughs> wife. Is a original Georgia P from oh, the Swats. Oh, I love all. You know what I'm saying? My wife is like <laughs> ATL all day. all day. You know what I'm saying? And um, my daughters were born here, and my son was born in New York. Okay. <laughs> you had to bring him back. Yeah. I said, babe, hold that contraction. We're gonna yeah. go back first, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you can come on, come on it. Nah, he was born in Long Island. Okay. You know, um, but um, I remember back in the days. Going to the clubs, and uh-huh. there were girls that were setting dudes up mm-hmm. oh, no. to get robbed mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We caught wind of it. Like they'll try and talk to you in the club mm-hmm. and all that, and get all sweet on yeah, you or whatever. Yeah. But it was a setup for yeah. me. I'm like, man, 
I'm not even trying to play that. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, one of one of my first experiences was on Spring Street. I forgot the name of the club on Spring Street. Um, and uh, I was in the parking lot right by the Varsity. Mm. Oh. I had on my throwback Atlanta Hawks jersey. Got my mouth full of fronts mm. and oh, killing the game. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I and I bent down to tie my um my my A ones. Mm -hmm. When I picked up my head, it was a gun, yo. Mm. It was like, yo, bro, run it. Yeah. So I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. All my life in New York, ain't nobody ever, 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 ever caught ever. me on the Oki, yo. Uh -huh. I'm down here, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, bro, I have no problem popping you right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Run your wallet. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if you're, and thinking back, yo, I wasn't even like scared. Mm -hmm. That's the crazy part yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really, you know what I'm saying, I, was, I, I wasn't really scared, I was just like, I was more offended, like, yo, do you, what, what did you, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and um, it could have been, anyway, but he was like, yo, call your man, my man over there hanging some females, mm. and I called him, he came over, he ran him too, and he mm. dipped, and we spent like half the night looking for Buddy, mm. you know what I'm saying, um, and um, that's, that's when um, those, uh, those dorm rooms, Georgia State had those dorm rooms that Georgia Tech owns. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be an old um, uh, projects or something like that. I forgot. They mm -hmm. turned it over. Well, anyway, we ended up going there because his girl went to school at Georgia mm -hmm. State. So we ended up spending that night there. And Tech I was like, was about Tech? No. It, no, it was another name. I can't remember mm -hmm. the name. But anyway, wasn't Tech. What was you know, and um, I was like, yo, man, yo, I was so upset. You know what I'm saying? But I was so ignorant. That the next weekend, mm -hmm. I was in the same parking lot mm -hmm. trying to go to that same club. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, same spot. I did not care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to, you know, live the life or, yeah. you know, you know. So yeah, I just yeah, thank I God know. for the, the, the switch and the mind change. Exactly. Like, yo, let me get up out of this, man, exactly. and, and and move. That does, that does some of what you see, which I'm probably, it's probably a rhetorical question, but... Is some of what you see and go through in life, what you see on TV and communities, mm -hmm. inspire your 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 your, your flow, drive? your music? Yeah, your, yeah, it yeah, definitely gives me that drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah, mean, all, a lot of all of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, all of it. Yeah, Everything yeah. kind of like well, yeah. you, you don't around. you don't want to see anybody go through you know the things that you went through, and mm -hmm. if you could do anything to stop it, you would. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. would, you know. And so that's yeah, that's definitely my drive. I meet a lot of young ladies um, who. Um, tells me that I inspire them. I'm also a teacher, mm -hmm. so um, and I teach a lot of the high school and between um, like 22, 23. Um, but most definitely, it does drive me, pushes me. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, how soon after all of that transpired with you, did you pick up the pen for God? Oh, when I picked up the pen, first I was doing more like. Cause you sound like you're from New York, yo. You know what? I, I get that a lot, but that's a good thing, right? That's a good oh, thing. It's the home of the York. Home well, of the I tell him, you know, oh, at, when oh, I was please. younger, I used to always like listen to Lil Kim and um, yeah, Biggie, part, and mm -hmm. um, I didn't really listen to a lot of ATL rap, except for uh, Andre yeah. or Outkast. Yeah, Outkast was killing. Yeah, was killing yeah. it. But other than that, no, I I really listen to a lot of no Ti. Oh yeah, I can I can tell you some Like when I was in like yeah, 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 I was like, listening to Cam Nam and Biggie yeah. when I was like young. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was really young. So yeah, T I and Your tip came along a little later. Um, yeah. 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 What's some of your uh what's some of your influences though? As far as music? Yeah. Uh Timberland and Magoo, the album that came out and like Wow, <laughs> that was one of my first albums I ever had. Was wow, Timberland and Magoo. I remember that joint. Yo. I had that joint. Yeah, bro, the, with the blue. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I that had that my, joint. Usually, yeah. when I say that, people don't be knowing. Like, nah, you know yo, saying, like, nah, Magoo, folk be sleeping on Magoo, yo. I'm Magoo, telling Magoo you, used bro, to go. Yeah. Go, <laughs> oh, 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 um, I, I can't. I can recite. pull something up. Yeah, pull something up. Pull something up. But that album was dope, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really influenced me heavy. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm 28. Bow Wow, I think, is a couple of yeah, years older than me. He's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lil Bow Wow was a young god when I was when I was coming up, too. Are you serious? Yeah, for real. I'm wow. Serious. You were the dog. I have serious. never he was a young god, heard. Bro. Yo, I did, a, I did a podcast a couple months ago uh -huh. um, with my boys, Steph Swig and, and Big Pudge, on the Crosstalk um, podcast. And we had, like, 
top five MCs. Mm -hmm. There was a whole episode <laughs> dedicated to top five MCs. Yeah. I've never heard nobody say Bow Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know he's not saying top five MCs, but just influence. influence. Was influence. I, I, absolutely. Yo, that. young man, he was. I was a kid. He was. He on TV jumping around, spitting bars. Bow Wow so Bow Wow platinum. He's Bow Wow wasn't no joke. Like, he's a quiet legend out here. From what he did he's to you know, yeah, yeah, no like, doubt. literally. Yeah, in the book, he was so more than a lot of other rappers. Like when you look at the night, even though he might have not wasn't writing none of it. Right, you see what I'm saying? Right, right, he right. He was killing it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my dude. Yo, I had a few of his first albums too. Um, I knew every song. I don't think um, I've ever had a bow. Yeah, for real. I don't think I've ever I had a bow. I did. I had, I had, I had, yo. My, my baby sister, she she liked bow wow. Yeah. Like I remember, you know, I remember hearing it being played, but it wasn't yeah. like oh, I'm gonna listen to bow wow. I remember that stuff yeah. being annoying to me. <laughs> like <laughs> like uh, <laughs> bow wow and Omarion <laughs> and 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 B two K. I wasn't a B two K fan. That stuff was just annoying yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. But out of everybody, yeah, old. I was like nine or ten years old. Bow wow was. Which I, when he was first out. So, oh, so you got me yeah, beat. You got me about like, yeah, yeah, I was out of school, man. You, was, I, I'm you yeah. got me about four years, too. Yeah, so you was like going in the high school. I was school. grown anyway. You I was going in the middle school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it, it, it resonated yeah, to me. Yeah, facts, yeah, facts. I was, I was facts. a kid. I was 10, 9, 10 years old. Facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? Um, You was you was going to high school. You was out of high school. I was out of high school. You see what I'm saying? I was on the block. So you're not looking at Bow Wow like, I'm still, you feel me? We liked him, though. We liked him, but. But you know what I'm saying? My, my cup of tea. Like, yeah, I was grown. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? 14. Mm. Yeah, but, um, oh, yeah, Bow Wow, uh, Timbaland and Magoo, the album was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, DMX was an influencer. He was popular. No, um, like DMX. X was that dude. Mm -hmm. um, he got played heavy. Um, a lot of R&B was played in the crib. No doubt. Jaheen, no Jaheen doubt. No um, doubt. Vermont, you know what I mean? Like, so all of that does any what percentage you think of that influences the artist you are now um or is it it's just totally god totally your vision totally what you see in the streets that shaping the artist that you are yeah your, your I, think is, your I, I like to think crazy. i'm unique i think i like to think i'm set apart on me mm -hmm. message is message like mm -hmm. i don't i never i've never tried to rap like Right, 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 right. I never right. tried to rap like well Bow Wow said this verse, let me try to write this. Like that. Yeah. Like, I've never I've always catered to who I was right, and the right, logic right. that I had with the English courses that I took. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um so none of them have necessarily influenced what I do. I just they kinda of pulled me into I've got to the art. In the art of this. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I didn't get into gospel until I was twenty one. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Wow! But I, I started oh writing. God, I'm 28. I started writing when I was 10. Mm -hmm. Um, when when I was 14, 15, I joined the group in Albany, New York, called Lockdown Assassins. Wow! Yeah. Wow. And um, my dude actually, his name Philly Hayes. He's still in, in the Bronx. He's a Bronx bomber. Mm -hmm. He's still down there pushing the brand hard. Wow. He be battle rapping. Wow! You know what I'm saying? Real pop. You look him up on YouTube. He got a lot of battles. You know what I'm saying? He bumped his shoulders with some real. You know what's his name? Philly Hayes. Philly Hayes. Wow! He, he, he bumped shoulders with some real. Uh, bosses, but he kept, he kept the name Lockdown Assassin. You're mm -hmm. talking, wow, bro, 13 years ago that yeah, group started. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm baby. saying? <laughs> baby gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Baby gangsters. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, bro, we, we made some, we was making, I was been in the booth since I was 14, 15. Mm -hmm. And then um, some things happened mm -hmm. in regards to the streets. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I was 21, I was introduced to Lecrae, wow. to the pastor. Actually, I just got my face, you see the cut on my. I don't know if you can still see it. Got glue done on my nose a little bit. What happened? Um, my baby mother, that eight year old, her boyfriend, we got to a fight. He cut my face. Oh. He, what? Yeah. Oh wow. Um, so like a week or two after that, I kind of, I, I, I was stuck in the place of how somebody like baseball bat his knees, or <gasps> okay, got it. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. Or, That's real. You feel me? That's real. You know what I mean? Like really playing the fence of. Mm. Of uh, retaliation mm -hmm. or vengeance is the Lord's. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Were you saved at that time? Um, I, I was saved when I was eight years old. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. I was covered. I was gotcha, covered when gotcha, I was eight. Gotcha. But now, bro, nah, yeah. not at all. Um, you was, you was still out there. Yeah. I and you and you chose to smack your cats in the mouth. I was bugging, bro. So you and you let him you let him live. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's that's big. That's big. I would like to think I would have done the same thing. Yeah, a little bit. It was, it was hard. It was hard, but it was that was really um 
I mean, we we shot the one, mm -hmm. and then the fight ended with him pulling out the blade. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they glued it back or whatever, glued me. That's why it looked so clean. But um, but yeah, I don't know. Dang, bro, that's I went to church, pastor prayed, um, I, and I, I just turned my fire off for God. I'm like, wow. I leave this alone. Wow, that's big. That's big. That's God big. So, I'm I'm learning too. Like I'm. I never knew a lot of things. That's big, so, yo. That's I don't know if somebody, you know, I almost killed somebody spat in my face. Yeah. It's disrespectful. Like, Once literally, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. like, the pastor had to come and, like, come to the house. Mm -hmm. And, because I was about to, for two days, I was looking, like, I was about oh, to, no, I was, and, and, you know, what, what happened is, um, I was, Newly married, mm -hmm. and the incident happened in front of my 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 wife and my baby and my mom's, mm. and I blacked out, yo. I yeah. blacked out because I'm like, yo, that's the highest form of disrespect, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But a week yeah. later, that same individual is locked up, and guess who went to go see him? Mm. Yeah. Oh, God, you know what I'm saying? God is good, man. When God really gets into your heart, man, and you know mm. you want to do. You know, you know, we say the cliche things and we say the things that sound right, not my will, but your will. What if it's your will to forgive? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What if it's your will to be beaten for two, three days mm -hmm. and then hung on a cross mm -hmm. and still say, yo, forgive them for they know what? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What if it's your will to be beaten and stoned and spat on mm -hmm. and, for, and, and for you to look up to God and say, God, lay this not to their charge? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, uh, like, uh. Apostle Paul was uh, doing this uh, to Stephen. And he told him to turn around and say, yo, lay this not to their charge, yo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then the Bible said, Jesus now standing. Mm -hmm. In real the scripture, it talks about Jesus sitting at the right hand. Mm -hmm. After that act, the Bible said, Jesus now standing at the mm -hmm. right hand. Oh, yeah. So what Stephen or Stephen did mm -hmm. reminded Jesus of what he did on the cross mm -hmm. and got Jesus to stand up out of the seat. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So what can you do or what are you doing in your life to make Jesus stand up and give you a round of applause? Mm. Oh, so, yo, I man. understand where he is. I did the same thing. He got it. Also, mm -hmm. He got it. Also, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's the basis of, um, you know, my music or the way I flow, or, mm -hmm. you know, um, is um, in whatever way I can mm -hmm. give them me authentically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in that giving of myself, they can see God in some way, shape, or form. You dig what I'm saying? Even if, you know, it's it's behind a, a trap beat or whatever, mm -hmm. I'm going to definitely stick the medicine in the can. Yeah, that's real. While you bopping and you milli rocking mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. doing whatever the case may yeah. be, it, it's going to, oh, snap. He just said, what? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's not even, you know, because I can get super lyrical and mm -hmm. flip it to dip it to dip it, yeah. uh, do all that, whatever the case may be, but... If it's going to go over your head, then mm. what's, yeah, what's the, the point? What's, what's the point? point? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, that's for your peers what's to that? say, yo, he dope. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, he spit. Yeah. I'm not spitting to my peers. Exactly. I'm not preaching to the choir. Exactly. You dig what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So it, it's really about the message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and your delivery of the message. You mm -hmm. dig what I'm saying? Because other than that, you what know, it's going to... Exactly. That's what right. you going for? You know what I'm saying? What's next? What y'all got coming up next, man? What, what you got? Oh, Lady Sucks. Oh, of course. Well, shining over you. <laughs> God, you know. <laughs> well, I have a video shoot my first. All right. Um, what date? What date? What date? Uh, November the 11th. Yeah, where at? Where at? Where at? Um, it's in Tucker. Shut so if you want to come, you got to go follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Say that. Oh, shucks. You know what so what song is this for? Um, It's for Blessed. Okay. Because I am blessed. All right. So you're blessed. We blessed. It's just a just a single. What you trying to do, like it's artist wise? You uh, sign? No, not. I have a couple of people that want to, you know. Really? Yeah. Like who? Who you got? I don't know. Oh. Asa B, first lady of One K Famo. Really? Mm -hmm. And I've been sitting. Who hollered at you, P son? <laughs> uh, uh, Tony, 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 okay. And uh, uh, Save on the Messenger. Mm -hmm. Well, he's just talking ma manager, the manager. Mm -hmm. And then the other producer, um, True Gospel. True Glory. True Glory. Yes, yes I had a meeting with him on mm -hmm. um, Saturday. So, that yeah. boy, that boy gifted, talented brother. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you got a, you got a few things popping off. 
Well, no, God got it. Let me stop God it. God got it. Exactly. God how God how God long God have you God. been really like God, out here? I started last year. I, did, I went into the booth for the first time last wow. year. So God has been. Wow. Wow. You know, when God hands is in, and you can't really just, you know. So, how, how did y'all two meet? Um, I got you. For the Lord. Yeah, that's a out, fact, though. Yeah, he was out with his My non-profit. non-profit and she was out with us. And, um, Talk about y'all non-profits. So, Don't be glazing over stuff talking oh, about okay. my non-profit. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, about your non-profit. non-profit. Why am I looking at the camera? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you can look in the camera. That's what Fox Shot Radio has you Oh, doing. yeah, that's what they had me doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no. Um, Testimony of Love, A Prodigal Child. Um, it's the name of my non-profit. And okay. I just go into the community. I feed. I help with clothing and bills. It's just a lot of things. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do. And what? so I was there doing exactly that, feeding the community mm-hmm. and <coughs> way that I can, and he was there with his nonprofit, which is what's your nonprofit? My nonprofit is the Men of Standard. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna come straight from the book for you. Mm-hmm. Men of Great. Standard is a male on oriented community organization formed to build the male self esteem and establish productivity and self awareness. Now, we will provide role models and information that will establish model citizenship in our community. Along with this, we will provide opportunities for various workshops relating to work ethics fatherhood, career planning, and much more. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a hands-on fellowship that is not limited to members of the Show the Faith Christian Center, but it's a community outreach organization. So it's an um, organization that originated in Griffin, Georgia mm-hmm. in 2006 mm-hmm. by uh, Pastor Christopher Clark mm-hmm. uh, Sr., which was just no relation to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he just happened to have the same name. Same name. Um, <laughs> Christopher E. Clark. Um, and uh, he started the organization in 2006 with a vision he had with his brother, or what have you. So he, what he's done now is he's given the vision to his son, Chris Clark Jr., and um, which is a brother of mine now. Once again, no relation, obviously. And Dennis Williams, which is also a brother of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've been tasked with, because what they've done is they pulled me into the fold. And we've been tasked with just pretty much leading it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so. And carrying yes. out the wow. vision and the mission. So wow. uh, we make it our duty to, um, to do outreach in the community once a month to where we go out, we feed, we give back. We partner with organization. So me and her met because the Shaquille Clark Foundation, which yeah. is Melvina Clark, once again, love nobody, you, no relation, love you, Mel. Mm-hmm. No relations as well. Um, there's another person with the same last name as me. Mm-hmm. Um, she started the Shaquille Clark Foundation in uh, memory of her son mm-hmm. to also give back to the community mm-hmm. and to prevent what her son had to go through with wow. being murdered and wow. being raised in the hood and, mm-hmm. you know, the struggle and what have you. So she had an event in McDonough, Georgia. Uh, mm-hmm. MOS partnered with her to do a summer camp. Mm-hmm. Me and her went into the housing authority for, for um, McDonough and we spoke with the housing manager. It was about three people that were that their hand trying to get their hand in that community room, mm-hmm. the community center. Mm-hmm. And we were able to, to sway them and they let us have it. Mm-hmm. So to um, pretty much commemorate that, Nation and Fountain Hope came out, um, Testimony of a Child. It was another one or two organizations that came out as well. So all together it was about five of us. Right? And that's and that's how y'all. And that's how that's we met. I performed. Yeah, he was fitting. I was like, this. This brother. Think he doing? What do you think he doing? Right. Um. <laughs> so so she um she introduced. She wanted her mother sang her mother song, and then after the thing, she came up to me and she's like, Yeah, so I rap too, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Got little bars. Got little bars or whatever. So it was crazy because I had already asked. I'm, I'm kind of getting into idea high or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I had asked like three or four people already to get on that track. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nobody took it for real. Mm-hmm. Like people played with it. Mm-hmm. So I asked her to get on it. I think that was a Friday, bro. Or no, because no, you Saturday. came to the camp. That had to be a Saturday. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you came to the camp on that Monday and had your bars. But she had her bars for the for the track in like a day and a yeah. half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. had them on Monday, so yeah. they was already written by right. Sunday. Right, right, right. On Monday morning. Right, right, right. And we talked on Saturday afternoon, right. bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's crazy because we was talking earlier in the car. And I'm yeah, like, yo, yeah. bro, I said, <laughs> and you, she done ran into a few different people who wanted to work with her. And I'm like, why was it me that you just started, mm-hmm. you know, to put bars down with? Take serious and then produce. You know what I'm saying? You from New York, bro? (laughs) (laughs) Just how it is. Just how it is. is. There's nothing they could do. (laughs) You from New York? So she came through, bro. She came through. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she did her thing. And but regardless, I said that when we was uh, last week, we was on the radio. It was like, um, how'd you know? I'm not God knew. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I asked a few people. 
few people denied, I wasn't stopping. Mm. Every time I met somebody, if they went out their way to tell me they was a rapper, I was going to go out my way to extend the offer to get on the track. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you definitely extended one. I'm halfway done with my joint. My you know dude. what I'm saying? Um, and I would have I would have been, like, it's here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just haven't transferred it to here okay. and you can kind of, like, flow with it, you know. Yeah. Um, um, whenever I hear something, if I can come up with like four bars, mm -hmm. I know it's a it's, it's a, a wrap. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. Yeah. It's done. So you shot it to me for to it. It. Right, right. Yeah. It's like of this song that that you that you're gonna feature on. It took us like a week or two. <laughs> yeah, what you mean? <laughs> like to actually do our bars. You said in my oh yeah, home, yeah, yeah. We finally like we finally finished it. Yeah. So you on that joint too? Yeah, shot it too. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so who was on it? Me, you, her. Me, you, her. What? I feel I feel honored. I feel honored. I'm honored you know what I'm saying? I feel honored. Man. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, to that, to that joint too. And um, I, it would be done because I'm, I'm a, like I, I throw engineers off when I book studio time. Okay. Because they want you to block like two, four hour blocks, and I'll be done in, like 45 minutes. That's what a few talking about the same thing. Yeah. If you if you in the if you work in the booth the right way. Yeah, you yeah, know, you in and out. Yeah. 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 Yo, I even know what my ad libs are you before I get there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I already learned about you. So I go in and I'm bum, 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 bum. I get in, I get out, man. I, mean, I can do like two, three songs within two hours. Exactly. Man. Like, exactly. you know? Exactly. Fully, so, fully done. Fully, fully, well, fully I'm done. Write that check. That's you see what I'm saying? Don't hold me in this, in this booth. But I got good, I got good peoples, man. I work yeah. with, um, I work with Luke G. Yo. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah. and Rob. Free Life. Yeah. That's my man. That's my man. I got, Countless songs for him, yo. Yeah. Like countless, countless joints. Like we can put out a <laughs> legit. We can put out an EP or album. Say that. We got got some songs together, yeah. man. Yeah. That's my guy, man. Yeah. That's my guy. Shouts out to Luke G, man. Oh, Luke yeah. G World. Yeah. I suppose we reached out, but never too late. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Holla at him, yo. Yo, no, legit. I have never worked with anyone more talented. Mm. Real talk. Yeah. I'm, and I work with a bunch of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no shade or whatever. Uh -huh. But I've never yeah, seen... Yeah. I've yeah. never... Like, I've sat down in the studio and just been like, like yo, just hold my... Like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll just... He'll just... We got a song called um, Blessings on Blessings. Mm. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, we, we, you know... I didn't even... I, didn't even, I said to him, yo, I'm, I might need you on this one, bro. Mm. And I came, I did my verse, and then he just sat there, and then he just started making sounds, mm. mm -hmm. like high pitches and low pitches, and he just started doing runs mm. and, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever, and um, he just sat there, and, he, you know, he did a whole bunch of, like, 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 I didn't even know what he was doing, stacking, and then and mm. he just, boom, mm. and bam, 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 I was sitting there like, yo, yeah. and we did a... I, I got a joint called um, Brooklyn Meets Jesus. Yeah, I heard that. I was listening. Yeah, to that yeah, day. and um, yeah, he wasn't even supposed real, to be on that joint. Real melodic, real. Uh, yeah, that's real orchestra. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's my joint. True. He wasn't even supposed to be on that joint. Yeah. It was supposed to be for another artist. Well, I won't say their name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be for another artist. You know, yeah. you you hear him on the radio. See okay. much, yeah, we spoke, and yo, know, you know. Yeah. But. Luke body did. I had yeah. to like, I couldn't. I didn't. He he just came in and he did his thing. I said, yo, that's a that's a rap. So, like sometimes we have to like force. You know, I did something two weeks ago, and he was just making just doing something. I said, yo, I need that on there. Mm. He just looked at me and started laughing. Like, cause it the chemistry is, is so crazy that. Every time we get together, mm. it's always something that could happen. Mm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So every song I do would be for, with featuring Luke G. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. So you know that's that's good people's that's man. And, and Rob at Love Work Studios, Rob Hooper. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure yeah. He, uh, he recorded I Get High. Yeah, and, yeah. and blesses and blesses well. That's my guy. Yeah. That's my guy. Yeah. That's my guy. Yeah, Coming back out to you too. Yeah, we be back soon. Open up those dates. Ah. Ah. Love Works. I was just talking to him the other day. He supposed to got on Marvelous, but oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna work out. That's my guy, man. Yeah, I love Rob. But I'm glad. I'm Erica's though. She's on that remix, the headshot remix. Go get that, please. Stream that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We, um, that's the headshot. I, I wish I had God's a, word. That's the kill you shot. You know what I need to do? I needed to. I wanted to do a Brooklyn meets Jesus, a mm. New York mix. Mm. 
you know what I'm saying, with some of my cats that's here from New York. Well, you know I'm real. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Real. Yeah, yeah. I got to I gotta see what's up with that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm kind of shut down for the rest of the year, though. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Cause, you saw me the other day. Yeah, I worked that record all year. Mm. Yo, one thing about artists, man, you got to make sure that it's easy to go in the studio. Mm -hmm. It's easy to rap and, you know, you feel good. And mm -hmm. it's easy now to just... Upload your song to SoundCloud mm -hmm. or YouTube mm -hmm. or, or 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 iTunes mm -hmm. or whatever, but is your paper straight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's real. Because if your paper ain't straight, mm -hmm. then your paper can't be straight. That's real. That's so you real. dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this this yeah, I'm re learning. I'm learning. this headshot remix with Erica MC Double, that's the first official official off my label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I had to make sure because I got kids, man. Yeah. I got to have my... BMI like will not get none of my publishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all my publishing comes to me. That's real. So I can, you know, um, I can pass that off. If something happens to me, it goes to my wife. That's real. Mm -hmm. If it, something happens to me and my wife, it goes straight to my kids. So everything is set up because it's one thing to be an artist. It's another thing to be a professional artist. That's real. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Cause I used to be one, like, I don't care about no awards or whatever, but yeah. the industry don't recognize you. That's real. So if you're in the music business... You know, the Bible says in um, Proverbs 11 and 1 that a false balance is an abomination to God, mm. but a just weight is his delight. Mm. So you can't be all super spiritual mm. in the business and the business is lacking. Yes, yeah. Or you can't be all business and the spiritual is lacking. It has to be homeostasis. Mm. It has to be a balance where I'm handling my business yes, and my ministry at the same yes, time. Yeah. And they both coincide. They both coincide. Jesus, oh, I, pure excellence. I love you, sir. I, I do ministry. This is not a business. Well, it, I mean, it's, well, I mean, it's, it's kingdom business. It's kingdom business. That's what I mean by yeah. it. Mean, yeah, we got to have... It was also business. Thereafter. Okay, when, when time came, right, Jesus went and told them, yo, go get the money out the fish's mouth. Mm. He said, render to Caesar what's to Caesar, what's to the Lord, render that to the mm -hmm. Lord. You know what I'm saying? So if we're in the music business... Mm -hmm. I'm not just rapping for everybody that's in the room. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to push this as far as I can. Mm -hmm. Radio, whatever. Oh. Now, the only the, the difference is I'm not going to bow. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. And sell out and exactly. do that's why I'm doing things exactly. myself. Can't be bought. I can't be bought. I've already been I'm already sold out. Mm -hmm. I, I don't got nothing else for that's you. Real. You know what I'm saying? So I, love it. I know a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of people, a lot of these young cats don't know about the business side of things and it's, it's you have to make sure your business that's is straight mm -hmm. you're missing out of you're talented yeah that's right you're gifted uh -huh. you know what i'm saying make sure your paper straight so that's your paper right. can be straight that's right you know what i'm saying that's so i mean cuz you think about it i i've wasted dumb years gas money to the studio paying for studio time mm -hmm. paying for mixing paying for mastering Video. all those songs where they at mm -hmm. I don't. I don't left my family. Mm -hmm. I'm in the studio two, three hours. Mm -hmm. Where is those songs? Where I? So now, even if you don't release a song, still register it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have songs registered through BMI that mm -hmm. if, if 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 whatever God said, yo, put that one out. I gotta press a button. It's already registered with BMI. Mm -hmm. So when SoundScan is tracking the release of the mm -hmm. song or whatever, they can report back that this is song is doing this well over here. Mm -hmm. Getting into the, I just, I just, I just won't be bought, but I've got to make sure that my business is taken care of. It's just like the church, yo. Mm -hmm. I can sit here till I'm blue in the face and talk about it's ministry, it's ministry, it's ministry, but the state of Georgia, yeah. they recognize yeah. us as a business. Exactly. Exactly. It's a business, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the Bible says, look, a workman is worthy of his, of his hire. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna be out here rapping and doing things mm -hmm. or whatever, please don't think you're gonna feed me yeah. with some lukewarm hot dog and say, what, God what, bless what, you. What is that? A pat on the back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're gonna be gonna treat this as a business. Mm -hmm. If you wanted Lecrae to come out, mm -hmm. you're gonna take care of Lecrae. Exactly. He's Period. saying the same thing I'm saying. Exactly. Period. You know what I'm saying? Period. He's saying the same thing I'm saying. So if you want the business side of things to be dealt with right, you know what I'm saying? Hey. This is my writer. Mm -hmm. This is my management. Mm -hmm. This is whatever. This is my honorarium. Mm -hmm. I need X amount of money for me to even come out. I need X amount of dollars mm -hmm. because I got I got management. I got to take care of. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got I'm leaving my family, mm -hmm. travel, lodging, um, our food, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Now beforehand, that's real. If we talk about 
hey, I can't meet your honorarium, but I can at least, you know, um, take care of your your, your food. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's rock. Let's rock. But up front, I'm gonna let you know that yeah, yeah. this this we dealing with excellence mm -hmm. here. Exactly. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. We dealing with excellence right. here. This is yeah. exactly off top. Off top, mm -hmm. you let me know. Now we can talk about the logistics about it because mm -hmm. it's really not all about money. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I gotta present to you that hey, you know this is I'm coming in the vein of excellence. I'm coming in the name of the Lord. You're gonna be blessed. Your people mm -hmm. are gonna be blessed. You want me to come out? I'm, I want to come out. Yeah. I've been. I, I opened up for Derek Minor this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Open up for Derek Minor in Vegas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I paid my way. Yeah. I paid for my own hotel. I paid. You can't. You can't pay for that being on your resume. Mm. So now you build. So this whole year, what I did was I said, Yo, you know what? If a, if 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 an opportunity comes where I'm getting finances, mm -hmm. great. But if I don't, I'm building my resume. Mm -hmm. So 2019, when they asked, so so what have you done? Mm -hmm. I did that 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 that. You know what I'm saying? You put in work on your dues. You know, grind or whatever the case may be. That's it, man. That's what you do when you're a secular. That's it. World. That's hundred. You you present. You want a new job? You present what I've done. So why should I pay you X amount of dollars? Well, I did this. I would think this. I open up for that person. I've been on that. You know what I'm saying? So that that's what it is. So you know, how y'all feel about that? Oh, that's real for sure. Now, with respect to um promise, right? Um, now I've I've you know been doing research for years. You know what I'm saying as far as copyright is concerned. Um, I do all my copyright through the Electronic yes. Copyright Office, the Library yes. of Congress. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I have a few songs registered with BMI. Mm -hmm. Um. As far as the label thing, you know, we're going to build on that. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, as right. far as the publishing and them getting a piece yeah. of it or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but I've done my research with BMI. Right. Um, I understand at least a good, a good, the foundation of the mm -hmm. background, mm -hmm. right? And I think I have expressed to you with this track that we about to do together. Right, right. I said, this ain't no... This ain't right, yeah, right, yeah. We spoke about yeah, 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 yeah. Her. It's all for the love. I get high. It's all for the love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I want to yeah. see all right, how we're going to coexist. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Because really, I mean, obviously the paperwork is tedious, but if you got common sense and, and English skills, you figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been through a lot more trials and tribulations. Absolutely. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Than getting some paperwork together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And once you lay the foundation of that, then everything else from there is, is like you said, you build upon push that. the button. Put the button, man. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, God has blessed the journey. Thus far, you know what I'm saying? Her and I, um, uh, we get along very well, you know what I'm saying? And um, obviously look forward to moving to moving forward in music, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? And allowing God to uh, to put his hands on that financial, yeah, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know he's going to put his hands yeah, on the financial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not blind at all, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I love um, it. I, love and it. I, I call it um, ministry. And when I say the word ministry, that's me keeping God first. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? But, but it's kingdom business. And it's been kingdom business since KJO released, released that song. Kingdom business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out so, to KJO. Shout out to KJO. You feel me? Free life. Free life? Yeah, yeah. Free life, free life, free life. I just yeah. did the praise and worship a couple months ago. Stay um, down. On, on, on I, seen you, I seen you on the live, on the, on the live, uh, Facebook live. Well, you talking about praise and worship? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dang, bro. <laughs> yeah, I seen you on the live. <laughs> Dang, uh -huh. yo. Yeah, man. Yeah, um, I was in that service that day, but yeah, yeah I, I peeped the, the, the footage or whatever. Um, But yeah, man, it's it's the steps after this, it's just certain beats you got to hit. I had to hit, I get higher. I got to hit this one we about to do. But from here on, you know, I got producers already lined up. That's family. You know what I'm saying? Um, Where they got, they got the waves. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they got, they got the, uh, you know, the computer registers when you make the beat, everything, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's lined up. Mm -hmm. And copywriting a song, um, exclusions and inclusions, like I done did the whole research, you know what I mean? What you're saying is, is great, you know what I'm saying? What you're saying is great, I'm glad you're saying it mm -hmm. because... Um, you know, the more you, the no, more you know, the more you grow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. So, I'm glad you're saying it. That I, I shot. Now I don't mean to cut you off. I shot you. No, no, I don't want because I haven't told you a lot, a lot. But, but I tell her every time I say you should know everything that I know, mm -hmm. and then what I don't know, if you know it, I'm yeah. I'm, that's how, that's know, how we work. One hand wash the other. Of so course. I shot her the the eco .gov, the electronic copyright .gov link mm -hmm. to to just go look at it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not by no means am I 
you my she my hitter, right? right. By no means am, am I with well, anybody I work with, male or female, mm-hmm. gonna deprive them of information. Absolutely, that you have. That I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. "Be great." What's yeah, me yeah, is for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah. So um, it's it's stuff to learn. Definitely stuff. A lot of stuff for you to learn. It's but a, even stuff for me to learn. It's a lot you know of I mean? it's a lot of cats. I just know for facts that they don't have that aspect. And the, the reason I'm so adamant about it is because. I was doing it for years mm. and didn't have that. Mm. Mm. For years, yo, yo, you dope. Yo, you should be on the radio. Yeah. Okay, I get the song on the radio. They still can't track it. Yeah, exactly. So it's on the radio, so it's for the little local community yeah, or whatever exactly. the case may be. But that's not the pinnacle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Getting on the radio is not the end of it. That's, that's not, not even the... I mean, like, you know... Hey, hey, you you I, get a little buzz or that, whatever. That's, yeah. it, don't get me wrong. Any buzz, buzz is a good buzz. But I'm not about to just keep buzzing. Nah, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. And I'm, she, I don't think she understands that I've, I've, I've been processing like that this whole time. Yeah. But that's why I brought even this this new feature to you that yeah. same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I say in the inbox, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I said yeah. the same in the financial No, group, I got right? you. I got you. But but when I said that, I had publishing. I had all that stuff in the back of my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, bro, I just want to see how we how we oh, bond, it how is. we link, how it come together. No doubt. I said, may this union be for music be blessed. blessed. I remember. You know what I'm saying? So the next steps. Is, uh, you know, publishing how we how we collaborate on the site. What we what we put in line. What yeah. kind of paperwork yeah. need to be put in place yeah, so yeah. that we make sure one six because making a hot song. God is the he the writer. I'm the speaker. Right, 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 right. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. God, I need I need to yeah, track. Yeah. And he be like, alright, son. Yeah. Dang, here yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm not worried about the bag. Oh no, 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 no. Um, I I'm, 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 I was just first, more speaking on yeah. knowing that. There are a lot of up and coming guys yeah. that are about to waste their time just throwing stuff on iTunes That's real. and not having their you know properly. their stuff properly yeah. done. And it, it bothered me because for years I didn't I didn't know. That's real. I thought I knew. Yeah. I thought I had one aspect of it, but but no. And, yeah. and you know, shouts out to you know, say A B and B management. You know, what I'm saying Amy. MC Nice, you know so, what I'm saying, RWMS, yeah. everybody, you know what I'm saying. That's your record label? No, my record label is 718 Music. 718 Music. Yeah, so... Um, Someone pitched that to me. My manager had pitched that to me the other day. What was that? Um, starting my own label. I was just, when he was talking, I was thinking that. Yeah. I was like, yo, Promise because you, cause you kicking the middle, the middle man. Yeah. When you mentioned that BMI don't get to, I'm registered with BMI. Yeah. But if you don't have your own publishing set up, That's they will saying. get, you know they what I'm saying? They cut. It's a, it's a lot of... So why not go through it? Yeah, yeah, through, just... Through the labor and make it your own. I took, like, literally three, four months to get it right. To just take my time and do... When I could have been dropping songs and yeah. doing out here, I just took my time and, I, I you know, uh, my manager held my hand through everything and mm-hmm. showed me, this is what you do. I know it's hard. I know it's Because you got to get... Your tax information, your banking information, because they're sending the checks directly to you yeah, now. Literally. Mm-hmm. So, on the other hand, BMI would have, if me and you did a song, mm-hmm. they'll take care of that, the splits and all that yeah. stuff. Now, I got to take care of all that. So, yeah. they send it directly to me, uh-huh. and I will have to disperse the, you know, the, 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 yeah. so even, we, you know, we're doing features. This mm-hmm. And this song is supposed to be. Release or whatever, mm-hmm. I gotta make sure you get your percentage, that's right. your royalties, mm-hmm. or, and that's that's it's it's painstaking. Yeah, so you, everything has to match up right. I haven't been, I got people's in BMI on speed dial mm-hmm. now. Like they know when I call, like yeah, they pick up and we talk. Like, yeah. I need some information about this. How do I do that? Uh-huh. You know, how does this get done? Okay, well, do this, do that. Well, that has to match up with that. Blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? So if the song takes off and does great. Yeah. You got you got a family too. That's real. That's you got a family. You know what I'm saying. So that's thing. That's kingdom been doing things decently and in order. You know what I'm saying. So um, I'm going to be doing. I'm one of the headliners on the um the CHH and Gospel Hip Hop Cruise in January. Okay. Yeah, to the Bahamas. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So that's some of the stuff that's going to be discussed there yeah. about you know your rights as an artist. Uh-huh. How do you take care of your publishing? You know different things that you can do to uh, extend extend your your career and um, your 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 talent and your gifting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So looking forward to that, man. Shouts out to RWMS and everybody. You dig? Salute. Yeah, man. So uh, video Sunday the 11th, Tucker Georgia. Tucker Georgia. She said follow on Instagram if you want to go. Uh huh. What are you? What's your What's your name on Instagram? The real promise. 
spelled P R O M I Z Z, and on Facebook, my fan page is just Promise, mm -hmm. and uh, on Twitter, the real Promise, P R O M I Z Z. All right, yes, okay. sir. What you got? Facebook. Up? Uh, well, we um, as far as uh, we got a performing we actually Clayton State University this Friday. Oh yeah. Um that that uh good is gonna be dope. Uh Clayton State University is gonna be uh Jonesboro Road. Um Forest Park State, uh, State Sweet eleven hundred. I told my daughter how to go in there. <laughs> straight up. Straight up. Say right. that man. Straight up there. Um and then uh we got Fountain of Hope um uh, Saturday, Saturday morning. Uh, St. Clair, that's... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hollowell, yeah, 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 I've been yeah, out there before, I've been out there. And then from Fountain yeah, Hope, that's yeah. 10 to 2, we got to shoot the North Carolina. I'll show it um, for five, five, Yeah, in North Carolina, um, that um, she's headlining mm -hmm. um, as well, and I'm going to uh, do a track, you no know doubt. what I mean? No doubt. Um, Where can they find you on social media, man? Social guys? media, Facebook, message, M-E-H-S-I-J, man, uh, Instagram, the real message, T H E R E A L M E H S I J. Twitter, M E H S I J. That's a that's an inside joke because I definitely have mine first. <laughs> and then, <laughs> she procrastinated. And you and just ran it. No, nah, I did the real message and shit. And then I turned around. She like, yeah. yo, I saw that and I was like, I wonder if that's a group or yeah. this is a clique or something. Well, I saw the real, the real. I yeah, said, yeah. okay, all right. Oh, that's yeah. cool. You're trying to be like me. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, message me, H-S-I-J, man. That's what's um, up. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Thank you for having me. Um, that's awesome, man. I learned yeah. some things today. I'm definitely doing my research on that's it. That's a fact. For sure. We're yeah. going to build. We're going to build. Each I one, teach one, like man. Copyright and everything. I'm learning a whole bunch. I'm on a, I'm learning a whole bunch. God is good. You know what I mean? So I thank God for y'all, man. Y'all, please go and uh, stream, purchase, headshot the remix featuring Grammy nominated. Artist MC Nice, Double ATL, yeah. Erica Combo, yeah. on that remix, that. you yeah. dig me? Um, go get that. Look out for the new video featuring Toy Love. I believe these two great people had cameos in that ah. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yo, once again, thank y'all for showing up. Yo, and matter of fact, I want y'all to go check out this podcast, www.thinkingoutloudnetwork.com. That's www.thinkingoutloudnetwork.com. Follow us on Instagram at Thinking Out Loud Network or Hud's House Podcast. We on uh, SoundCloud, iTunes, Twitter. We on we we on Tinder. We we on everything. Tinder. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. We on everything, man. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go follow us. www. ThinkingOutLoudNetwork.com. Yo, this is your boy E. Hud. You are in the house with Hud's House Podcast. Peace and love, y'all. 100. 100, yeah. Who's house? You're listening to the Hud's House Podcast oh, with yeah. E. Hud on the Thinking Out Loud Network.